Good evening. My name is Tony McLean Brown. I'm Kelly Darling. Today, on my birthday, we're having uh huh. Yeah. We're having a trip down memory lane Ooh. to make hot dogs like Mr. Pruitt made in Inca, Candler, North Carolina. Yep, Pruitt's. All right. Well, before we get started, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Leonard's Auto Mart, founded in 1977. That's when I was born. Yep. And everybody drives a used car. So without further ado. I do. Okay, you ain't my sous chef, my Kelly chef. Kelly chef. And I are going to take you through all the items that you need to prepare for the perfect Ooh. Jim Pruitt's Ooh. hot dog meal. It's very exciting. Okay, and right now what we're going to do is we're just going to give you everything you need. And we'll put that on the computer and make a list, right? I got you. Okay. Oh, and we phoned in T-Bone. Thanks, T-Bone. Tommy Brookshire. Lived right there on um, uh, Asbury Road. He called in and said, this is how you make the coleslaw. Hold one second there. He said, you got to start with coleslaw mix here. You can go up here to the Ingles and get you some of that. We got right. Publix around here. You got to have vinegar. You got to have mayonnaise, salt and pepper, sugar. And you're also going to need Granny's Little Chopper Up because y'all remember that coleslaw was fine chopped up and fresh. It wasn't gummy and, and, and liquidy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. now you tell them, take them through the chili and where that came from. Well, this here, folks, is some Texas tailgate chili sauce uh, for burgers and dogs. We had to go online and we waited months to get this stuff. It's in big demand, uh, but you're going to want to get you some. Uh, we got some uh, ground chuck just to liven up the yeah, chili it, a little it's bit. It's $5.33 for two patties. They would not sell us one. This is as little as we can Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you, before you get going down this journey, mm -hmm. you need to make sure you got the paper hat. Paper hat? That Mr. Pruitt had. And he always wore, you know, uh, uh, what do you call these things? Apron. Apron. Yep, always had an apron. And that was either whether he was at his store or down there at the Hominy Valley mm -hmm. Community Center where they had the pool. He wore the same attire that I remember, and the hot dog tasted delicious every time he made it. So... Oh. Getting to, we also learned that you got to get the Gwaltney Great Dogs Traditional. Mm -hmm. That means it's chicken with pork added. Ooh, you know, flavor. Yeah, and, and, and you can't buy this in the six pack. You got to buy the twenty four. So we'll cook four, and I'm feed the fish the other twenty. I guess um, you're gonna need a pot to mm -hmm. to do that. And then you got to talk to them about the steaming bun. Well, here's some buns. Now, what you want to do is you want to find yourself the cheapest set of buns you can find. Yeah, this is the Publix, but y'all be the Ingles. Like, you want one step below Wonder Bread, mm -hmm. okay? Because we're going to steam it up, and it's got to be it's got to be able to hold that steam. And let all the moisture in. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. And so then we got ourselves a pot to boil some water, and then we're going to just go ahead and stick these yeah, in Yeah, you here. know, but you remember, you know, Mr. Pruitt had a thing. He'd put them in and go, shh. Well, we have to simulate that, mm -hmm. okay? So that's where we're going there. Now, we're going to also need mustard, ketchup, and sweet relish, as I recall, okay? We'll, we'll tell you how to assemble all this later. Right now, we're just going through the inventory. And then, oh, the crinkle fries. Oh, very important. Very important. There's a crinkle fry, not seasoned. Not seasoned, Not seasoned straight, straight crinkle fries. And you're just going to put salt, add salt to them once they're done. And you probably want to put those in a pan like that. We'll, we'll do that later. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead with this now. And then we got uh, a Coca Cola. Yeah, you Tell never. Tell them about the cup, though. No, well, here's the problem. You never had one of these hot dogs without a Coca Cola, but it was a fountain Coca Cola in a plastic cup. I mean, in a. Paper cup. Paper, but it had a plastic thing around it. Oh. You know? But. To get as close as we can, we've got a pizza hot coconut Coca Cola cup. Yeah, and with the Coca Cola out of the bottle, it'll be fresh without crushed mm -hmm. ice. It's going to go. And, and then the only last thing you might need is aluminum because after you assemble this hot dog, you, you're going to run wrap it up. So that's everything you're going to need. Now we're going to take you through each step on how to prepare each component of the Mr. Pruitt hot dog. What one do you start with? We gotta start with coleslaw. Okay, so that's should we go ahead? That's what they call it. What do they call it? They call it coleslaw. Ah, that's right. We're gonna so, be right back with you. 
Appreciate you. All right, we're back. This segment of the show brought to you by Leonard's Auto Mart is how to make the coleslaw. Right before we get started, I've got the pack of coleslaw mix and I got Granny's little chopper. And I'm gonna go set to the task of chopping them up while I'm Kelly. Kelly, I want a sous chef. Kelly chef uh -huh. tells you how to make the mix. Um, okay, so we need one cup of mayonnaise, not quite a third cup of sugar, three tablespoons of vinegar, and a little salt and pepper. So I'm gonna put it in this bowl or don't you? You're gonna put it in that bowl. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, well I've had to use a pair of kitchen scissors that we got off the internet. Twelve thousand people gave this a five star rating. It's called uh, KitchenAid. You no, can see those are the wrong ones. No, it is. It's KitchenAid right there. No, I know, but those aren't. No, those aren't. No, nope, that's you. You, you're doing the hardware ones you're talking about. But anyway, here we go. We're going to put a little of this coleslaw in the chopper right here. Oh, they got to see this. Yeah. That granny's yeah. thing. Is and we'll pull it right there. And we'll just, Ten times. Two, three, four, five, six. Have a little quick look, see, see, look at that. See how fine that is? Yeah. Not the big stuff, not the big stuff like this. Little fine stuff like that. We'll put it right here. We'll keep at it. Now, you, you need to help them with. Uh, I'm doing one cup of mayonnaise right now. In my little one, I think that's tough. Yep, yeah. just gonna squeeze her in there. Shake it down, shake it down. Get it Tragic mistake. Slicer out. Ooh, careful, that's sharp. Yeah. All right, I got one cup of mayonnaise. I need my little scraper. It's gonna work. This will work. We'll set our mayonnaise to the side because we're done with it. See him, he'd be already, you know, everything was prepared and it was just chop, 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 chop. Here you go. You know, yeah. it wasn't, we, wasn't the hard work we're doing right now. He had already done it. Yeah, that's right. He got up early that morning. You know, Mr. Pruitt ran for school board. I remember a sticker on Grand Lloyd's blue van. Vote for Jim Pruitt, school board. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know if he won or not. Go, now right I need not quite a third cup of sugar. And we're on a big old fashioned white sugar. Yeah, Tommy Tommy T Bone did not tell me if you know there was some like universal size of coleslaw mix. That's he just said a bag of coleslaw mix, and that's what we that's what we want. Bag. Bag. Yeah. But I wonder if in London where they make coleslaw, do they use the same metric system as a bag? Yeah. Uh, one is bag is given metric as well as Alright, I've got it. Vinegar. The bag is three tablespoons. Which one's my tablespoon? The big one. I need a third base. <laughs> do this, get this going wrong. Who knows? Duh. One bag of finely chopped Chihuahua. cold slaw mix. Ooh, cold slaw. Yeah. There we go, honey. Oh, and good. how are you going to stir that up? Like this. Okay. Probably I'll give him a little look, see, huh? Just, we're just going to get it all, you know, mixed in here. Just a little, just more of like a folding until it all kind of gets, oh, sorry. There. there. Okay, good. Hold on, I got to keep this. It's a little chunky still. Because he says, he says here, he goes, he goes, you gotta put the salt and pepper in there too, and mm -hmm. then get in the bowl, and then add the slaw, and then let it marinate for one hour. One. So while we're doing that, we'll proceed to the next um, station. Okay, a little salt, a little pepper. You do that by feel, or is there a? There's no measurement. Okay. That feels good to me. T bone. You're getting. You're getting Kelly. We're using pink Himalayan. Yeah, it's just, this is, I guarantee you, Mr. Pruitt didn't use pink Himalayan salt, but we get, we got to work with what we got. Okay. There you go. We're ready. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Folks, oh, look, it almost looks like a jello or a pudding. Okay, I just kind of. Get down in there. Come on, keep stirring it in there. Keep stirring it in there. Oh, that's good. That's good. 
And we got vinegar in there already? You can smell it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's going to be the perfect texture. Ooh. This is good. Nice, nice. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at the purple and the orange in there. Look at that! Look at that! See how see mm. how it's the right. It's not too. It's not too runny. It's not too. It's not too thick. It's uh, you put it on your spoon and it's staying right up. Look at that! That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yep. So so I think we then set this over to marinate. Mm -hmm. well, that's nice, honey. You marinate. All right. We'll yeah. be right back. All right. Let's put that. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Some of y'all all know that I'm not very skilled in the timing of preparatoriness in kitchens. We have these three problems. We got to fry ground beef to add to the chili. We have to make the crinkle fries. And we have to cook the Gwaltney hot dogs, four of them. Okay, so what is the right timing? I'd start here. Okay, so can I just do this? I'll throw it on there. Here. Okay, there you go. And we're going to take a fry pan. I add a little bit of olive oil just so it doesn't stick. Okay. It depends on what kind of pan you have. And again, have. what we're doing is we're get thickening this thing up so that it doesn't, it's just not runny. You know, like sometimes it comes out of cans and not runny. And, and that might or might not be the case if you let it sit there for a week and just kept reusing it, you know. And I'm not saying Mr. Pruitt did that, but we're going to stiffen it up with additional meat. Add meat. Okay. Okay, do I do what, what do we do? Just put it in there? It depends on how much you want. You put however much you want and just throw it in there. It can't be more than half of it. That's all right. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put half, half a burger's worth of extra meat into the can of um, Texas. Texas. Okay, so while that's getting ready to fry it up, we're going to open this up and get our hot dog going. There's a little bit of discussion about how long can a hot dog swim around in a hot tub of water. Not sure about that, but I am pretty sure that the hot dogs at Mr. Pruitt's were there all day long. You know, he wasn't making them like right on the spot on to order. He just reached down there and there and put one in the bun and off he'd go. Next Yeah, can I see the two too, baby? So, how do we know when the hot dog is done, honey? It floats. All right. Wait to see if we can make four floating hot dogs. How does one normally open a hot dog bag? One, two. The water is boiling. Three, four. Boiling. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's just starting to boil, and we'll keep boiling it until they float. That way we'll know we're done. I'm not sure exactly what's happening to all the rest of these hot dogs, but we'll put them in the freezer. And then what's the, oh, and then the last thing is on the crinkle fries, it says preheat to 425, arrange over the thing and bake for 25 to 29 for a full bag. Alright. That's what we're gonna do. Does everybody agree with me that the Pruitts had the crinkle fry? I mean, that's just that's, that's the best memory I got. Okay, let's spread them out there real good and we're going to bake them up. All right, we'll be back with you in just a second. Is that right? Take a yeah, break? Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're moving along. Mm -hmm. We've uh, preheated the oven at 425. We're going to cook these fine crinkle fries for mm. 30 minutes. Ooh. While we're doing that, Kelly's going to make you the chili sauce oh. and put the ground beef and fried up the ground beef, just a half of a burger. Uh, so that'd be about uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $1.25's worth of chuck ground beef. Also, while we were talking or doing our cleanup, you see here all the hot dogs are now floating. They're fully, they're fully they're floaters. half floaters, and they're ready to be eaten. We just turn that on low. Those and look good. Let them, let them continue to simmer until we're ready to serve them up. You don't want them too hot. You don't want them cold. You want them just right. Okay, so 
How's the chili look, honey? It looks like chili. Okay, let's do it. Show the people what you got there. There's a little chili okay. sauce. All right. Oh, don't let them in there. I'm going to need this. Okay. Watch your arm. You're going to burn yeah, on fire. That's good. It's good. It's going in there good. I'm going to get a little smaller scraper in my scraper. Put in there. Okay. Watch the fire. Watch the fire. Okay. Get that. We want all this goodness coming out. Uh-huh. That's good. Right there. Mm-hmm. Well, you bet it got some fingers. I, I guarantee you, Mr. Pruitt, would do, do a little of that, you know, before the OSHA people come in. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add all the meat. Yeah, it's good. And just... Dump it on in there right there. And then we're going to put it over here and simmer it and get it warmed up. Once we get it stirred in and warmed up, we're just going to let look it. At that, look at this good looking. Man, that is Ooh. perfect. Show the people, honey. Look at that. Show look. the people. Oh. Look at that. Mm. Stands up. See, it doesn't run. It's not runny. That's yeah. perfect. But I think Hot dogs might... are perfect. Coleslaw is perfect. I think if we want to keep it like this, yeah. we're going to want to put a lid on it so that, that good moisture doesn't Is that right here? escape. Yeah. Right. There you go. And low, low, low. Low heat. Well, we might yes. have to switch. We might have to move to our back. Well, everybody, why don't you just put this to it? Why don't, why don't we just... But like, I can't get that any lower. No, put this over it and see if that'll beat it. What do you think? Okay, let me try. <laughs> you don't think so? No. Uh, well, you know, I ain't spent a lot of time in the kitchen, folks, as you might tell. We're gonna move back here. All right. Um, all right. So this is it. We'll uh, go ahead and put the fries in the um, oven, and then we'll get back once everything's ready and have a come together. What do you think? Oops. Sounds great. All right, folks. This is this is the part where it gets very very serious. Serious. Okay. Really? Number one is we're steaming. See the fresh steaming the buns over here. I'm sorry. Honey. Okay, yeah, don't do one or so. We've made the hot dogs. Mm, Look at them right here. Floaty. Uh, they're floaty, but they're not fat. They're just still just 10% puffier than they were when they came out of the bag. Look at this chili right here. Oh, Look at the consistency goodness. of that chili. Nice thick. But what you really got to look at, T-Bone, is right here. Look at that coleslaw. Coleslaw. Standing up. Standing up exactly like you wanted to. And then we... We believe that part of the secret sauce is the sweet relish. So the way this is going to work, we get the, the bun, we put the mustard and the, the ketchup and the sweet relish. We put the dog on. Then we put the chili and then we put the coleslaw. And I think that that's it. Now, we got to go ahead and get our Coca-Cola ready to go. Full full glass of uh, uh, um, right. ice. We'll get that ready. Have it. Get all fizzy for us. What do you think, darling? That looks delicious. Oh, right, here. You can hear it. It's fresh. Oh, uh, fresh. Now, I wish we had a fountain drink, but we don't. So, we're just going to have to make do on some of this stuff, folks. And then, over here, real quick. We got the crinkle fries. Mm. And you probably ought to open up that little pack there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the salt on the crinkle fry. There you go. That's perfect. So, that's ready to go. Now. I think I'm in there. Huh? Oh, I thought you were doing a reenactment. Yeah. Alright, we're going to get some of this salt on here. I'll have a little test out. Yeah, what you need there, let it sit out and get about room temperature. It's not real hot when they got served. By the time you got to your little stool up there on the dairy bar, they were warm. They weren't hot, best I can remember. Alright, so y'all ready to start this assembly? We did not have the little cups with love. Yeah, the little cups. So we're going to do this right here. We're gonna start right here with the bun. Very hot. You know, I probably ought to use these little things like Mr. Pruitt did back in the day. Oh, yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Right here. Right here. Okay, honey, right there you go. Okay. okay. Now we'll put a little ketchup on there. Too much ketchup. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, now a little, a little mustard. This is fresh, brand new. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, that's it. That's perfect. Now we need just a little relish in there just to. Sweeten it up just a little. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And use a plastic fork for the relish because you don't want it to get salty. Now, here you go, right here, honey. Right there. Hot dog. Hot shake dog. it off, shake it yeah, off. Yeah, that's right. Again, you do not want it to get too swole. Okay, that's good. Ooh, that All right, now. Perfect. Ooh, that's looking good now. Right here, honey. Where's your spoon? Now you're using a spoon because it's nice and thick. That was the thing with the chili. We're on mm. nice and thick. That's it. 
Okay, and, and again, it does much better if you use a plastic spoon. All right, that's perfect. Look right here. That is pre-slaw right there. Okay, honey. Right here, finishing, finishing. Finishing touches. Right here, yep, perfect. A little more, best I'm going, my jaws are just, oh, my jaws are going, oh. Is that ooh. good? You just want one more? more little, yeah, a little, little extra. Okay, there you go. Oh. Ooh. So, so, so right here, there you go, folks. Right there, oh. Here, I got you. Okay, there you go, that's it. And the Coca-Cola, and then we'll get us a little, we'll so we put the fries in, we'll put the fries in on this over here. Okay. There we go, come on. Again, pretend, there, pretend your fries are in a little boat too, and we'll lay that right there. Mm. Go ahead and put it down there, honey. And um, there you go, folks. Okay, darling. Wait a minute. Yep. Wait, Wait a minute. There it is. Yep, yep. Oh, look at that dog. Okay, let's see. It's time to do the taste test. Taste All test. Right, here's the finished product right mm. here. There's the Pruitt hot dog, the Pruitt crinkle fries, and the Pruitt Coca Cola. Honey, let's have a let's have a taste. Hold on, hold on. I want to see you eat it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's like memory lane. Mmm. Oh, love time. Oh, that's that's a nice size. Talking of about bowl. here the the horn lunch bell at mm. the Inca plant just ringing right now as we're enjoying this. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Mm. Very nice. Give me a crinkle fry. That's it. Hey, we'll give you all the recipe, all the, the do's and don'ts, and uh, hope you can enjoy a trip down memory lane with us. Thank you, darling. Thank you.